Steel Inferno is the first expansion to the award-winning monster war game, Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. This new scenario and campaign pack puts the spotlight on several major offensives that influence the course of the war in the East while opening up new areas of the map. With eight new scenarios and two new campaigns, it significantly expands your War in the East 2 experience. The 1943 campaign begins with Operation Citadel, the world's largest tank battle. It allows you to explore the best way for the Germans to recover from the previous Stalingrad debacle and the best way for the Soviets to break the German lines and beat the Allies to Berlin. The 1944 campaign begins with the Soviets readying for the state of their massive late war offensives. Within four months, these offensives led to the destruction of the Army Group Center and the capitulation of Romania and Finland. Within a year, Berlin had fallen. There were also eight scenarios, several of which cover the German attack into the Caucasus, including a hypothetical scenario that provides the Germans with an additional army for the campaign. The scenario drama on the Danube places the German player in the difficult position of trying to deal with the surrender of Romania and Bulgaria and the difficulties of the German forces in Greece trying to escape north through the partisan-controlled territory and includes the territory of Yugoslavia as playable for the first time. The scenario Road to Karelia includes a much larger section of the Finnish front. It covers the first four-month German push to capture Leningrad and the Finnish effort to push the Soviets out of Finnish Karelian territory, recently ceded during the Winter War. War in the East 2, Steel Inferno, out now.